What's going on friends? Logan Myers here for Cinefellas.com. Tonight I'm talking about another Oscar contender. Review some of the Oscar movies before uh, the Oscars that comes out this Sunday night. Um, tonight I'm going to talk about Green Book, directed by Peter Farrelly of the Farrelly Brothers. They're usually known for their comedy, a lot of great comedies in the 90s. Not so much lately, but this time around it's a drama piece. Peter Farrelly's at the helm. And we have Era going from Lord of the Rings. We have Viggo Mortensen playing Tony Lip. Uh, he's a tough guy from Brooklyn. We have Marishala Ali. <clears throat> I'm probably going to butcher that a few times. Marishala Ali playing Dr. Don Shirley. Um, he's a classical pianist. He's doing a tour of the southern part of the U.S., so he brings along. Tony hires him to be his driver and uh, sets up the story. During these times, this is 1961, there's still a lot of issues with racism and African Americans being segregated, having to go to different, their own bathrooms. They couldn't go to the bathrooms of the whites and restaurants and, and things like that. So they created this green book of safe places to go down south, um, to go to the restaurants, hotels, bathrooms, things like that to keep the segregation. And uh, you know, the whole racism thing was definitely heavy down south back then. And things that we're still coming across to this day in 2019. So it's a really compelling story. Um, I didn't really know this was a thing, Green Book and areas and a route that you know African Americans had to take um, to safe places down there. So it's really interesting to see how this story sets up um, around this Green Book and the relationship that's gained between Tony and Doctor, or Doc as Tony calls him Doc. So early on in this film, I really loved Viggo Mortensen's portrayal of this uh, you know, kind of tough guy from Brooklyn. He had a thick accent. He's always eating sandwiches. He's got a big gut. Really even look like him since the last time I seen Vico Mortensen. So he de definitely transformed into this character. And he was there for the comedic relief because he was hilarious the whole entire two hours of this movie. He was just always very quick uh, and responsive. And, you know, between him and Doc, you know, they were completely different. But they definitely fed off one another. Um, in these roles and you could see that there was some really good chemistry between these two actors and you see it evolve throughout the movie They're on this long road trip So a lot of the movie takes place in the car and you see Viggo Mortensen's character driving and talking to Doc in the back seat And they're kind of going back and forth where Doc is very sophisticated, you know classically trained pianist He's a very talented musician and he has a weird outlook on life and you know with racism and African-Americans and whites and things like that compared to Tony where, where he sees life as it is living in the streets of Brooklyn. He thinks he has a harder life, um, has had a tougher life than Doc's character, which is rich, has a very nice place, makes a lot of money just touring and being a musician. So they have different outlooks on life. But they really learn to gain this friendship and you can see that they really need each other in their lives. This is a flick that's been going around the past year. It's been nominated for Oscars, won some awards, and I can really see why that is. Um, compared to other nominees that are up, A Star is Born and Bohemian Rhapsody. But this movie really has a lot of heart and thrown in with historical events back in the 1960s. And just with a great script and great direction, you know, and great acting by these two main characters, the movie really does stand out. And I think I had a better time with this uh, than A Star is Born because it just was a better story. And I think the acting was a lot better in this film. But Green Book is a movie that you really have to watch to get some history, to understand what happened back then if you didn't live in the 60s like myself. You know, we just have books and you know documentaries and things like that. But this is a really compelling story of what, you know, these characters and more importantly Doc comes across in this movie of all the racism of, you know, rednecks down south that are, you know, trying to hurt him. See a lot of things that he's coming across in this movie and challenges and everything that's thrown at him and how he overcomes that and still is a good human being. There's a lot of messages I got out of this movie, but more importantly, I think it was loving one another and gaining friendships and really just understanding a person, talking to them, understanding their background, where they're at and gaining that, you know, connection with somebody. It doesn't matter what color or ethnicity you are. It's about just being a human being and making friends and making relationships and memories that last forever. It was really cool at the end of the movie how they tie this all up and see what happens to Doc and Tony's relationship from the beginning all the way to the end and, and see what they do together. And then you realize that these were real people in history that had to go through this back in the 60s and seeing that those two real human beings, Tony and the real Doc, the real musician, they had a relationship up until their deaths. And it was a really great ending and story. And it just had me wrapped up the entire two hours. A lot of great comedy, 
a lot of great heart, a lot of great drama in this, and just really great script. So if you guys have not seen Green Book, you definitely have to check it out. Again, this movie's nominated for an Oscar. Uh, the Academy Awards are this Sunday, I believe, on ABC. So definitely check that out. We'll see who ends up winning. I'm going to give Peter Farrelly's Green Book a four and a half out of five tough guy hair pieces. <laughs> so if you guys have seen Green Book, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? Do you think it's gonna win an Oscar this Sunday? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit subscribe. This is Logan Meyer signing out from the Sweet Southern South. Until the next video review. Cheers!